Why isn't your financial advisor beating the stock market when you're paying them to invest your dough? Hey, it's Eric with Jazz Wealth Managers. Well, we don't just invest your dough, we like to educate you on your dough. So that's a big question that always comes up is why are financial advisors not beating the stock market? Now, if you look around, you know, thankfully we, we know the industry a bit. We've even talked to other advisors. We get a little bit of insight on what others are doing as well. And I think that there's a big misunderstanding that I want to explain. Now, before I talk about it, I just want to remind you that we're talking a bit about retirement uh, here at Jazz next month uh, for our Wine and Wealth class. So for our clients, we do that every Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. So that's something that if you come, just join Jazz. You can, you can check it out. But, all right, there's my commercial. That's that. But so why exactly is this happening? Because I talked to a client the other day, and one client looks at things one way because they're not quite retired yet. And I understand their idea of wanting to beat the markets, but then you have the other client who is now retired who wants all of the upside, but doesn't want any downside. Sounds familiar probably because that's most people who doesn't want that. But the thing you have to look at, and this is more of a, just a transparent conversation of what we're seeing in the industry and what's happening and what really clients are asking. And that is, why am I not beating the stock market? Well, what you have to look at is, first of all, your comfort or your risk tolerance for the markets. And the idea that once you reach retirement years, you know, if, you're, if you have $10 million, maybe you don't need to take an excessive amount of risk or keep up with the market in order to get, you know, $150,000 a year. There's not a lot that has to come from the market to get you there. That's one side of it. But then the other side of it, is that you really have to look at how much actually can you bear is to see when the market does go down. If you have $10 million in your account, and you see the market hit a bear market 20% down from the highs. Well, if you had 10 million, now you have 8 million. That's, that's a hard pill to swallow sometimes. And so truly with the bigger accounts, that's one thing, or in the retirement accounts we look at, that's a lot of the times why we're actually pulling back a bit. We're not trying to keep up with the markets because we also don't want to go down as much as the markets. Now, what about for everybody else though? Now, this is one that a lot of people have trouble understanding. You see, I had a client who called just the other day and they wanted to talk about this. So let's go over to the hand out on the board and let me explain exactly what I'm talking about. So what this person wanted was, you know, they wanted to keep up with the S&P 500. So they wanted to make sure that they were keeping up with that index. That's a real popular thing. People say, well, you know what? Why not just go buy the index fund instead of hiring an advisor? At the same time, though, that same person said, I don't want to go down as much as the S&P 500. Well, if you don't want to go down as much, you're not going to go up as much, generally speaking. That's the thing that people don't understand. You see, if you, if you want to get a 10% return, and that's what the S&P is getting, but if you're only 70% in stocks, well, generally speaking, you're not going to get the 10% return. You're probably going to get more of about a 7% return. So that's what you have to look at. Now, at the same side of that, though, if the market goes down 10%, you may only be down the 7% because you're participating in about 70% of what this benchmark that most people are looking at for the overall stock market is. So that's what this is about. So you've got to really make sure that you're just focusing on that, making sure that you're not beating up your advisor just because they're not keeping up because maybe they're focusing on what your goals are and trying to meet those and making sure you don't take too much risk for the money you have. Thanks for watching. If you want to watch more FinTips videos, click here. Be sure to like and subscribe also.